This video will show you how to analyze measured signals, export it to an external file or directly record it to an external file. We will be using the same circuit from previous exercise. We are measuring charging and discharging of 470 microfarad capacitor. It is serially connected to a 10 kilo ohm resistor. RC circuit is battery powered. There is also a switch to charge and discharge a capacitor. If we open a oscilloscope, we can see that the capacitor is fully charged to a battery voltage, which is approximately 8 volts. The Mega One oscilloscope is set to 10 volts per division, DC component of a signal is cut off, resolution is set to 12 bits, channel B is off, and we are sampling the signal at 2 kilo samples per second, which is still in pipe mode. As we press the switch, the capacitor discharges through the resistor, then we release it and we can see the transient of signal. Let's set the time base to a higher setting. We'll set the two cursors here and here. Volts per division setting tells us that fully charged capacitor goes to approximately 8 volts. We will make some charging and discharging transients so we could closely analyze them later. To analyze a signal, click pause button on the top right corner of software. Waveform will freeze. Additional yellow squared bar appears on the top of the oscilloscope window, which shows complete history of the captured signal limited by the size of the channel buffers. You can precisely select any part of the signal by resizing the yellow square. In Analyze mode, you still have both cursors available, including other tools that are also available in Capture mode. You can still move signal up and down, use the Auto Zero command and the Auto Scale command. You can also still use the data table, which is showing you the amplitude and time difference between the two cursors. What differs from Capture mode is this Export button. You can export captured signal or only the selected part of it to an external file. You can write some comments which describe the measurement we are performing. For instance, we'll say charging and discharging capacitor. Click on the export button opens another dialog, where we can write the name of the file and select type of the file. Waveform data can be exported to a comma-separated value file, Excel spreadsheet, PDF, HTML document or a pulse code modulated data file. We'll select Excel format. Now let's take a look at the exported file. Capacitor example Excel file is showing us sampling frequency, number of samples, date and time of measurement. 
here is our comment and the measured voltages on oscilloscope channel A. As capacitor was discharging, the voltage was decreasing and as the capacitor was charging, the voltage was rising and so on. Now let's go back to Postscope software. To get back to capture mode, just click on the play icon in the top right corner of Postscope software. The analyze mode is limited by the amount of RAM installed in your PC. To avoid that limit, you can record the measured signal directly into an external file. It functions as continuous export on the fly. Total amount of measured samples will now be limited by the capacity of your hard drive, SSD drive or USB drive. Just click on the recorder icon. The display is very similar to oscilloscope. We still have the same tools available in the oscilloscope mode. We'll adjust time base setting here a little so we can see larger amount of signal samples. What makes the recorder mode different from the oscilloscope mode is the recorder button. When we click it, new dialog opens. We can choose where to save the data and set the type of the file. It can either be a Postscope 4 recorder file or a PCM Postcode Modulated Data File. Let's type in file name and some comment. To stop recording, just hit record button one more time. Here we can see the PCM file that we can use in some other software for further external analyze. Let's conclude this tutorial. You have learned that besides live or capture mode, there is also an analyze mode with the same tools available as in the capture mode. In addition to capture mode, analyze mode can also export data to the external file. If we are measuring samples for a longer period of time, we might come across an issue of RAM limits. To avoid that, you can record directly to an external file. For more advanced usage of Postscope devices and software, move on to the following exercises. Thanks for watching.